Hi guys, my name is Neil, Neil Ball, um, AS CAD Services. You may remember me, some of you, from uh, Great Tech UK. I worked there for some years as an application engineer. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a series of short videos just to address some of the common questions I've been asked over the years. And one of the frequent questions is how do I change the logo from the standard Autodesk logo? What I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up a prototype in a minute. Uh, if you're familiar with Advanced still, you'll recognize the ribbon menu here. And on the output ribbon, I've got a tool and it says edit prototypes. This is like a shortcut key for getting into the prototype files in <coughs> Advanced still, excuse me. All right, so here we are. Standard prototype, A3 prototype, could be anyone, and there it is, the Autodesk logo. I'm surprised the number of companies I go to have still got the Autodesk logo up there. It's quite an easy job to change it, I'll show you how we do that. So what we need to do, we need to find this image, and where it is, if I go to File Open, and let's go to C, I'll do this right through, Program Data. Autodesk Advanced Still 2017. I'm on yours, might be 16 or whatever, it'll still work the same as this. Uh, shared support, and there it is in the support folder is the Autodesk logo. So let's open that a minute. And it says this is a one time upgrade, so obviously the file was done in some earlier version. Let's say yes, <coughs> and there it is. So this is what you see in the prototype here. And we can edit this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag a box across. So I'm going to delete this. Now, it's very simple to find a JPEG or a GIF. You can lift it off a letterhead on your um, uh, your company letterhead. Lift the logo. You've got a JPEG or a GIF image, but we can't use that in AutoCAD. Well, that's not strictly true. We could use it in AutoCAD. I could just drag and drop a GIF image in here and it'll look fine on my system. But when I send the drawings to somebody else, there'll be nothing in the box. There'll just be a big white cross with the name of the file in the middle because the GIF image won't be embedded in this. It won't go. So what we need to do, we need to create an AutoCAD logo. Now, I've already got one here. Here's mine. This is text, 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 and I have drawn the logo. So this isn't a JPEG. What I did, I copied and pasted my um, logo in and I traced over the top of it. <coughs> and I created an AutoCAD version of the logo. All right. Now, I've used text in this case here for the ASCAD Services Limited. And if I go to Labels and Dimensions and I look in here, what I've done I've created some new text styles. So this is the header and it's Swiss 721. And this is the smaller text and I've created ASCAD services, standard text, Arial. Now the reason I do that, if I use standard for this text and I set this to Arial on my system, when I send the drawing to somebody else, their standard text may be set to something entirely different. Okay, so what I do, instead of relying on this, I create a new standard for myself there for this text and I create a standard for this. Now, I try to use a system font because what will happen if you don't use a system font, if the font isn't available, the logo won't display correctly. So uh, I'll see if I can find this a minute. Just bear with me a minute. So let me go to Dropbox, CAD Solutions, Logos. So let me open this one. Okay, you can see the text is entirely different in here. That's because if I go in and I look at this header, I used originally this font here and it doesn't exist on this system. It existed on my old system. It doesn't exist on this system. So the chances are if I sent this to somebody else, it may not exist on their system. So try and use a system font. Of course, the other way around it is to explode the font 
to curves. Okay, I'm just going to pause this a minute and I'm going to bring my other logo back and we shall carry on. But this is why we create different uh, textiles. So bear with me. Okay, so here we are. We've now um, come back to our, our logo. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this part of my logo and I'm going to copy to clipboard with base point. I'm going to use the corner here for the base point and I'm going to go back to the original logo.twg. Control V to paste. I can see straight away that's a little bit big. If I try and move that, you can see it's just a little bit big to fit in there. So I'm going to rescale it. So I type scale and I'm going to set this as the base point. I'm going to go 0.8 and there it is. So now I'm just going to move this. And let's just move it somewhere there. Actually, I need to move that along a bit. Okay, so there we are. I can also put some text in here if I wanted to do that. I could put uh, multi-line text, a bit large, but we can address that in a minute. So I'm going to put um, AS CAD services, there you go, okay. And we're going to turn this into the standard text there. And I'm going to go into properties and I'm going to reduce this to 2.5 etc. So I can make up my logo. There it is. That'll do. Now what I need to do, I need to save this logo. And what I could do, I could just overwrite the uh, Autodesk one, it wouldn't make any difference. I can just go file save. Or I can save it to a different location so I can go file save as. And in my case, I'm going to put it uh, in my Dropbox. It's OneDrive, big pardon, Dropbox logos and I'm going to save this as logo.dwg. Notice I didn't change the file name, that's the importance of this. Didn't change the file name, it's still logo.dwg and I'm done with this. Gone. We're finished with this for the time being. So I'm going to say no to changes and we're back here. This could be any of your prototypes. To insert our new logo, the clue is in the name, I'm going to type insert. And I'm going to go and browse for my new logo file. It doesn't matter where you put it. it. doesn't matter where you save it. You can save it any way you like. The important thing is it must be called logo.dwg. There it is there. I'm going to go open. Nothing's changed so far. I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to get this message come up. It says redefine block. It says that logo is already defined, etc. What it's saying is this drawing logo is defined within the block. And what I'm going to do by redefining it, I've changed to my new logo. I've got this one hanging about on the mouse. I could insert that again. Obviously, I don't need to. I press escape and it's gone. And there it is. Job done. Simple as that. You need to do that to all of your prototypes. I normally open them in batches, so I might open all the single part ones first and then the assembly runs, etc. And I do them in batches, it's easy enough. You'll, you'll get uh, muscle memory after a bit. So it'll be insert, click, 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 two seconds and the job's done. Don't forget, we now need to save this. So when we close it, we'll save it. I'm not gonna bother in this case. Or I can save it from here. So if I close it, I'm gonna get this message up. Save changes to the prototype. You're gonna say yes, of course. I'm gonna say no. And that's it guys, as simple as that. Create the logo.dwg. The important thing is it must be called logo. You cannot change the name or else this, it will not work. It must be called the same name because it's going to replace the existing one when you redefine the block. Okay guys, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for your time and I'll be posting more videos as the days go by. Um, if you can think of anything you want to see particularly, you can drop me an email, neil, spelt N-I-A-L, dot ball, 
at ascadservices.co.uk. Drop me an email and uh, I'll see if I can accommodate. Thanks very much for your time. Until next time, have a good day.